Okay, in this problem we have a rectangular plate that is supported by three cables and one of those three cables is shown right here is between A and B and we know that the tension in this cable is four, uh, 408 newtons. Okay, and they want us to determine the components of this force exerted on the plate at uh, point B right here. They want us to find Fy, Fx and Fz. First, let's take a look at what values we are given. We know this, we know this and we know this distance. These are distances in millimeters, okay? So, from these two, in this triangle, this is a right triangle here, we can find H. With the Pythagorean rule, we can see that H is the hypotenuse. So, 320 under square plus 360 under square, the whole thing on square root, equals 481.7 millimeters. Now we have this distance, and we have this distance going up here. So, from the triangle, which is B, A, and O, which is another right, right triangle, we are able to find theta. And with this theta, we will be able to start finding some of the components of our force. For this, we're going to use inverse tangent, where we're going to plug in 480 over the H that we just found, 481.7, and we're going to have a 44.9 degree angle for theta. And here's a little redrawn triangle with uh, from the one that we are working with, B, O, and A. Okay, now we're going to continue, and we can see that from the same triangle, we are able to find the first component of our force. This is force AB, but I'm just gonna go ahead and call it F for simplicity, and it's equal to 408 newtons. So Fy, which is this component right here, is 408, which is the hypotenuse, times the sine of theta, which will give us this one. With a calculator, we can see that that is equal to Fy equals 288 newtons. Now, in order to be able to find Fz and Fx, first we need to take our force and drop it down into the Xz plane. So we're going to find Fh, F horizontal, this one right here. For this... We're going to take uh, 408 newtons, our, the tension in our AB, 408 times the cosine of this angle theta, which is 44.9. With a calculator, we get a 289 newtons, 289 newtons. Now, we have this one, so we are able to utilize this triangle right here, which is B. O and this corner right here. So this triangle. I'm gonna go ahead and redraw it here for so you can see it better. There you go. B A and this corner right here. We have this measurement, this measurement, and this measurement. These are the millimeters of the triangle, the actual distances, millimeters. Now we're going to go ahead and find Fx and Fz, the last two uh, remaining components of the force. So, for this, we're going to Fx, we are looking, which is right here. That's going to be this component, or in our main drawing, it will be this one. So in this triangle, we can see that this will be this, the hypotenuse, times the cosine of alpha. But instead of uh, calculating alpha, let's go ahead and use the cosine ratio, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. 320 over 481.7.
and with a calculator we're gonna find our component fx to be 192 newtons. Our last component we're gonna do it in the same way which is fz right here which is equal to this one so from this triangle which is this we can see that we can calculate fh times the sine of this angle but instead of using the angle we're gonna use the ratio sine is opposite over hypotenuse so I'm gonna plug in opposite is 360 millimeters over 481.7 millimeters we're gonna go ahead and plug in for our FH 289 Newtons times the ratio with a calculator we're gonna get a number that is 216 Newtons but it is negative because since it is pointing in the direction of the negative Z axis if we look closely we can tell that our Z component if it would be pointing this way towards positive Z then it would be 216 but it is pointing this way so therefore we need to include a negative for our final value 